Okay, we're gonna cover two new rules here uh, for you on this video. Power of zero and the power of negative exponent. So I'm gonna do this little example and then show you in a couple more ways how this makes sense. But you know that three to the power of three is 27, right? Because it's three times three times three. Three to the power of two is nine and three to the power of one is three. Well, how do you go from here to here? 27 divided by three gives you nine. 3, sorry, 9, divided by 3 gives you 3. So to go to the next level, you got to go 3 divided by 3. What is 3 divided by 3? It's 1. So it appears that 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 3 to the negative 1, so I keep on going. Well, I got to divide by 3 one more time. So 1 divided by 3, we can write it as a fraction, and it's 1 over 3. Now, if I do 1 over 3 one more time to do 3 to the negative 2, if I divide that by 3, it's like saying 1 third times 1 third, which means I will have 3 to the power of 2, or 1 over 9. So as you can see, 3 to the power of 0 gave me 1. And when I started going to negative exponents, it's like saying 3 to the 1, but on this power over here. 3 to the negative 2, it was like 1 over 3 squared, and, uh, and that gives me 1 over 9. Looks like my family's back from... I'll, I'll introduce them to you. 10 to the power of 2 divided by 10 to the power of 2. Well, what is 10 to the power of 2? That's 100. And 10 to the power of 2 over here, it's 100 also. So 100 divided by 100 is equal to 1. But if we use the like basis, dividing like basis, we know that it's 2 minus 2, which gives us 0. So 10 to the power of 0 is also 1. Any number to the power of 0 is actually 1. What about this? 3 squared divided by 3 to the power of 5. If we expand it, I got 3 times 3 times 3. And if I expand it, I got 5 over here. So I can get rid of this 3, and I got 1, 3 to the power of 2, to the power of 2. And that is 3 to the minus 2, like we had over here. So that worked out perfectly. I think they're hiding. Check. Hey, I'm going to to my alumnos. So the rule is a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And that's rule number 4. And a to the power of a negative exponent. Okay, <laughs> Estoy enseñando a los chicos cómo se hace esto. Give me one sec. So a to the power of negative m is equal to 1 over a to the power of m. And those are the five. <laughs> those are the, that's the fifth exponent rule. Okay? Now, there's a slight rule over here when you have a over a to the minus m. Well, it just becomes positive on the top. So the, the negative exponent is almost like an elevator. If it's on top, it makes it go to the bottom. And if it's on the bottom, it makes it go to the top. Right? That's Victoria, by the way. Okay, cuidado con el triple. B squared to the power of zero. Well, the power of a power is two times zero is zero, and any number to the power of zero is one. And what if I had this big thing? The whole thing is to the power of zero. If the whole thing is to the power of zero, that means that this is going to end up being. 1, 2, which is kind of nice. Very good, Victoria. And lastly, this is a tricky one. Minus 4 to the power of 0. You're going to be tempted to say 1, but it's not. It's minus 1. Because remember on the basic video, if I said minus 4 to the power of 0, that would have been equal to 1. Yeah. But minus 4 to the power of 0, that just means negative 1 times 1, which is minus 1. Maybe so we took this And the last examples, 10 to the power of 2 divided by 10 to the power of 5, we know that 2 minus 5 is really 10 to the negative 3. But now we don't know that 10 to the negative 3 is just 1 over 10 to the 3. Because we don't like leaving negative exponents around. 2x to the negative 3. Both things are going to be to the negative 3. So if I use that minus sign, this is the same as 1 over 2x 
to the power of 3. And now I can continue one more step. And that is 1 is 2 to the power of 3 is 8. x to the power of 3 is x cubed. This one, 2 over 3 to the negative 2. I'm going to take the minus exponent, the exponent, the negative exponent one more time. And the 2 is going to go to the bottom, and the 3 is going to go to the top. It's going to be 3 over 2 squared. And now I need to square them. 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. And the last one, let's put everything together. 6 divided by 3, those are coefficients, so 6 divided by 3 is just 2. That's what x squared divided by x squared, well, 2 minus 2 is x to the 0. y to the power of 6 divided by y to the power of 4, it's y to the power of 2. Papi! Un segundo, por favor. No, no, pues, ya termino x to the power of 0 is equal to 1, so that leaves us 2y squared. That was interesting.